Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In this short video tutorial, you will learn how to create a consultant website with a booking calendar. We will take consultant as our niche, but this website can be used for doctors, writers, gym, spa, and other personal booking websites. We will be using Wolfis, a free theme, and a free page builder called Elementor, which is a drag and drop in powerful page builder. It's very easy to make and manage this website, so let's get started. First, let me give you a look at the website that we're gonna create in this video. So, this is the website if I refresh it. You can see the incoming animations. Then on the top we have a logo and all the required pages with the navigation menu, social icons. Obviously you can have your own logo here and then all the required pages. We can customize this header further. Like instead of these icons we can display a button. We can customize this menu, the colors and so on. And then this is the main section of the website. We have a title, some description, call to action and watch video. And then we have this picture with this quote. Now again we can customize it based on our need that we will be covering later on in this video and we can also customize these fonts. We can display different logos or icon boxes. Then some progress bars and this section with the video. And then we have this section for testimonials. And then this is a services section. This will be linked to the services page and this will open up a single service page. And this is the most important part of this video which is a booking calendar. Now this is a very flexible booking calendar with different options that let me quickly show you and then we will see how we can make this and how we can customize it okay. So here we can display a person, this is her name, and then we have a title, this is the duration of this consultation and this is a link. Obviously we can have our own uh, duration and links. Then we have this calendar. Now if you see here the situation is off. So we cannot select their date, also we cannot select the previous days and we can select any of these dates and here you can change your time zone if you want to. And let's try booking a consultation appointment for 20th of November, okay so I'll just click on this. So this person is available on 2 pm and 7 pm. Let's choose 2 pm and you can see the details are changed here. So from 2 pm to 3 pm, November 2024, 20, we are getting the summary here, okay. So if I click next, then I will have to fill up my details like my name and email and what is this meeting about so I can write something like that what type of consultation is this and so on okay and then I can schedule a meeting okay. So this is how this will work and we will see this practically later on in this video. This is just the demo website okay. Then we have this newsletter form and a footer. Again we can have our own colors, typography and details. So this was the home page and if I go to services page and this is the services page header and then I can display different services here and this is the process tips so step 1, 2 and 3 some pricing plans a call to action and a footer in the same way you can create multiple pages using free elementor which is very easy I will show you later on and this is a about page with FAQ and so on these are some blog posts. Then we have contact page where we have this call button and again a booking calendar. So this is the website that we will be creating in this video. Again this is fully customizable so you can have your own colors, text, images and so on. Now to create this website we need two things. The first one is to download Bloxy theme and the second one is to download Elementor. So both the links are given in the description. The first one is this link. It will take you to Bloxy website where you can download this theme for free ok. Just click on this free download and then download it from here. And this will give you a zip file. And now we can go ahead and upload this theme to our WordPress. Before that if you don't have a domain name and hosting that are necessary for a website. You can just follow this video and you can get a proper domain name and hosting ok. This video is already on my channel. And also the hosting or hosting link is in the description. Just follow that and then follow this video ok. And after following this video you will get a dashboard like this one. So here I am in Morpheus dashboard where we can now upload that theme. And to upload a theme we will go to appearance, themes. Here we have this default 2025 theme. So let's click a new theme. And upload theme. And then we will choose file. And we will select the file that we just downloaded which is Bloxy. So I'll just select it, open and install now. And theme installed successfully, let's activate it. Once you activate this theme, it will ask you to install this plugin which is Black Sea Companion. Just click on this button to install it. 
and it will reload the page and will take you to the block C dashboard where you can have different options for colors, typography, footer, header and so on. Now we can go ahead and create that website from scratch but this is a template from Bloxy theme which we can install and then we can customize which will make things easy for us. So to import the template we will go to starter sites and here you will find all the templates available in this theme and this is the one that I just showed you and you can have all these templates on your website. So let's go with this one and we will just click on import. It will open up this pop up where you can install this style theme. Just select it then click next and then you can choose a page builder. Now you can go ahead and choose Gutenberg which is the normal Gutenberg which is the normal WordPress editor. But I always recommend Elementor because it's more flexible and has lots of add-ons. So we will select Elementor and then next. And these are the required plugins so Elementor and Fluent Booking. You can see this theme doesn't require any other plugins ok. So let's go to next step. Again this will show you the import content. Now you can either import options, widgets, content or you can select all. So just select all because we want the whole website and then go to next step which will start importing this demo content. This will take a minute and then we will see the website live. And site import successfully. Let's visit our website. So you can see we got the whole website on our domain along with the logo, all the pages, the home page with animations and so on. So in this way you can create the first setup of this website. Now let me quickly show you how you can customize this website and you can make it your own. The first thing is if you want to change the core colors like to change this green color everywhere on the website and to change this font family you can just go to customize and you can customize the colors, typography and fonts. For that you can just click on this customize or you can go to appearance and then click customize which will open up customization page. Now Bloxy has lots of options for customization. I will just show you some important things and then you can go with all these things and you can customize this website based on your need. First of all you can go to colors and you can change these colors. Just click on the color then you can choose any color from these ok. Like this. You can notice the changes over here ok. This, this is a red color and so on. So in this way you can customize these colors and let's go back to that color. And if you want to select another color palette like this one, you can just click on it, then color palettes and you can choose from these colors. So you can pick any color based on your need, it's up to you. I just showed you that how you can change these colors, okay. This is the base text color, okay, which is this color. So you can change this as well. This is color for the links, then color for the heading, these are headings, okay. And this is the side background which is white this is the side background so here you can change colors let's go back go to typography here you can change these fonts so if you want to use another font for the headings you can just change these over here let's change heading 1 to something like this one ADL I understand and continue let's change it for H2 because this is H2 I think now you can see the changes over here ok. Same goes for all these headings. You can change these font families based on your need. So here you can change the font family, the font sizes, the width and so on. And by clicking here we can also change the sizes, the line height and so on. If you are not sure just click this and it will reward back ok. And at the end just click on publish to save your changes. Now we just have changed this font family ok so let's click on publish and that's it. And now we can go back to our WordPress dashboard. And next up ok I forgot to show you the header and footer so let's go back to customize. If you want to make changes to the header you can just click on this main arrow and then go to design if you want to change its background or something. You can choose a color from this color palette like this one, this one, you can have a custom color and so on. Let's keep it white and then if you want to change the logo just click on these three dots and this is the logo. Just click on it and then you can upload any logo here ok. If you don't have one you can create a simple logo with Canva. Let me quickly show you if I go to canva.com and let's search for consultant logo and I got different options. Let's pick this one. We'll customize it. 
Now you can change this image and you can change its colors and you can also change this text. Let's write and let's change this color to that green color and we will also change its color so in this way you can design a simple logo and then you can upload it okay and then we have another page this is for the dark version but we don't need it this is fine i'll just download it i'll keep the background to be transparent and download now we can go ahead and upload it to our wordpress website let's go there and we have opened up this page okay let me show you you can just click on it and click here and upload an image then select it okay let's crop it a bit so we have this white spacing around it okay that we don't need We'll click on it and we'll upload it again. And now if I select it, this will be fine and still we can change its height or width like this. And you can display site title and tagline but that's not necessary. This was how you can customize the header and the logo. And if you want to add a button here, just go back and we have a button here okay that we can just drag it over here. Now you can change its text so just click on this button and uh, we will change this to book now or something okay so it's up to you if you don't want social icons you can just delete it and you can have book now button moreover you can customize this header further if you want to add a text here just use this html then click here and write any text that you can see over here and then you can customize this top row by giving it another background like this one and change its color to white so in this way you can add another row in the header let's remove it and let's scroll down to the footer here we can customize this footer so just click on edit and this is simple text so you can make changes to it same goes for this one you can write any text and you can change this image if you want to same goes for the contact details this is a bit tricky so you can just click on it then click here and show more settings now you can customize it so just open up phone write your number and link same goes for email here you can write your email and email link ok lastly you can change it over here if you want to change its color just click on it design and then you can make changes to the colors I'm not going in much detail just wanted to show you that how you can customize the header and footer ok and at the end to save your changes just click on publish and this will save your changes and let's go back now let's see how we can customize this main page and also all the other pages ok for that we can edit any page with elementor now i am on the home page so if i click edit with elementor this will open up this home page with elementor before that we need to recreate the kit so for that we can go back we can go to elementor tools and we can just recreate this kit then save changes now you can go to pages and then edit any page with elementor from here or you can visit your website and edit with elementor this will work the same that will just open up elementor we will close it now making and managing a website with elementor is very easy i have lots of videos about it so i will just quickly show you how we can make changes to this website okay First, if you want to make changes to this heading, click on it and change the text over here. That's it. If you want to change the color and typography, again go to style and give it any color and any font from here. Okay. Let's remove that and then scroll down. Same goes for this text. Change the text, colors, and click on this button. You can change its text, link you can give it an icon if you want to and so on and in the next video we will see how we can add a pop-up here okay that is very simple same goes for this text this is an icon box you can change this icon 
by clicking here and then choose any of these icons and insert okay and then you can write a title for it and this is the text if you want to change this image just click on it then choose image and upload any image okay it's up to you you can use any of these images or you can upload your own for now this is fine let's close it scroll down same goes for this this is just an image or icon and this is also text if you want to make changes to this video just click on it and add your youtube video url here and this is for the testimonials these are services if i click here you can change it this is an image box where you can change this image title and text these things are very simple so i'm not going in much detail okay and this is important if i click here this is coming from the dashboard so business consultation and even calendar okay so i'll show you shortly that how we can customize this calendar but this was how you can customize the main pages if you want to add another section an additional section just click on this plus you can create any structure and you can add elements to it first let's give this some spacing like 100 and then under style you can give it a background which can be classic gradient video or slideshow let's pick gradient and we will choose these colors okay and uh, we can add text now so let let's say a heading we will make it white these are the global colors and these are the colors from here you can pick any color so next a text again we will make it white and then uh, let's add a video here and you can write your own video URL here ok if you want to centralize these just click on this container and justify them to center and that's it you can even add a button if you want to and there's a lot of to do with elementor and you can watch my elementor playlist to learn more about elementor ok so in this way you can add an additional section if you want to let's remove it and at the end just click on this publish to save your changes now in the same way you can edit services page about news and contact ok these are very simple now let's see how we can customize this calendar and how it works ok so for that we'll go to our office dashboard and here we'll see this show in booking just click on it and this will give you an overview of the bookings for now we don't have any bookings and to access your calendar just go to calendars and this is the one that we have you can add a new one from here or you can just simply edit this one now this is the event name that you can see over here so you can change it live element or seminar or something this is the description which is this one and this is the meeting duration okay so again we have 60 minutes here we can change it to something like 15 30 and custom then scroll down and allow attendee to select the duration so if you enable this option then people will be able to select a duration like uh, the choice and the time of their choice okay for now let's keep it 30 minutes and this is the location and for the location you can keep online meeting or organizer phone number and so on so let's keep online meeting and you can add another option if you want to then you can go to availability so availability range will be within 60 days and future and within the date range so if your event is within a specific date range you can select this option and independently into the future and so on and these are the availability hours so you can see such a day is not available but we can edit it and we will mark this to be available so start from let's say 215 to 430 okay and let's keep sunday off we'll save changes that's it lastly you can go to settings and you can do the email settings so this will send an email to your wolf's admin email okay you can change it over here if you want to and calendar will start from sunday you can keep it monday the default timer will be 12 hours or 24 and all these options are very simple okay just make sure to save your changes then we have these platforms these are available in pro okay and if you want to have paid bookings you can just integrate stripe in paypal and you can have paid booking so for now the free version is fine let's see our changes 
now you can see this is starting from monday and sunday is off and we have changed this text and now if i select any date i'll get all the timing summary next you can write my name my email and testing and we'll schedule a meeting you can see your meeting has been scheduled and the meeting is between me and me so my name and the admin name and when so from 1 pm to 2 pm this is the date who this is the host and this is me as a user where so online meeting and this is the link we can change it in the dashboard and we can cancel it or reschedule it and so on okay now as an admin if i go to dashboard go to calendars sorry to dashboard i have this one booking over here so if i click here and this is the booking so view details and this is my name the email the message time zone and the date so you will get all these informations over here okay and you will also get an email let me check my email you can see this email okay new booking and all those details and i think that's it so this is how you can create a website for booking or for consultancy and so on again the required links are in the description so just follow them lastly just follow my channel and support it by giving this video a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next